Scorpion King 5. Finally, we're at the end of the series of reviews because I hate these movies. Um, not the first two. I think they're fine. But after that, they just get progressively worse, which is not actually something I think about this one. I do not think it's as bad as 4 and 3. But I don't think it's good. And I think the only reason why I think this one's slightly better. Can this cat stop crying? Put me in a video. I want to talk about Scorpion King. Sorry. I have like five cats in here running around. And they're driving me crazy. Um, anyways. This movie. Was very. Boring. And very lifeless. For the most part. But it didn't feel like the last one felt like an episode of Xenia Warrior Princess and like Young Hercules or some show like that, right? This doesn't feel like that. It's a lot better than that this time. Um, it has more life and energy in it. And that doesn't mean it's a good movie. It's still not very well acted. The CG isn't great. It's still very much a direct video movie in a, that's a fifth installment in a franchise that should have never gone past the first one. But it did. And it's boring. The action isn't great. Nothing about this film is exciting. And that's really all I have to say about it. I, I know this is a very short review. But I'm, I'm glad to be done talking about these movies. Because they didn't give me a lot to talk about. I thought they would when I started reviewing them. I had a lot to talk about with the Mummy movies. And the first Scorpion King. And the second one. But after that, I just ran out of things to say because they're just all the same, really. They're all really bad direct-to-video sequels to movies that probably should have never existed. And, yeah, do not like Scorpion King 5. I'm glad I finally seen them, I guess, just to be like, I did it. If they ever make more, I guess I'll buy them just to complete the set and complete my reviews. But, good God, this was not a fun <laughs> set of movies to talk about.